This weekend, we had a really fun adventure and it wasn't very planned ahead of time. We had thought we wanted to go see somewhere new, but we knew we just had a few hours on Saturday, a few hours Sunday that were not busy. And so we were trying to figure out where could we go visit that's nearby our home here in Puebla. And so we went north to Tlaxcala, which honestly is just a state that always, um, that's just very intriguing to me. The fact that it's it's pretty small and Puebla wraps around Tlaxcala. And we have visited there once before and we're given this kind of historical tour of one of the cities and they talked a lot about the history of Tlaxcala and how it was a place of warriors and how they really held their own and they, they held their state, their strong enough community that they're able to defend their state from lots of foreign invasion as well as I'm guessing um, other tribes that lived around them. So anyway, I liked Tlaxcala. So today, or this, we, this adventure, today's video is about Tlaxcala and specifically some ruins called um, in Kakashla. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And we went there and we weren't expecting anything big or major, but we just knew that there were ruins there in Kakashla. And we were amazed. It is a beautiful location and we had a great adventure. This is not the first time that I'm saying this, but it never ceases to amaze me the beauty of Mexican countrysides. We love driving from one city to the next because in between is just this beautiful, untouched farmland or sometimes hills, rolling rolling hills, mountains, anyway, just all kinds of beautiful scenery. And this car ride was only 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, but it was exactly the same. I loved it, it was beautiful. I felt like I just was renewed. I could take deeper breaths being in the country as we drove to Kakashla. So as we got closer to the ruins, it was very clear that they were, they're prepared for tourism there. And I'm guessing just local tourism and probably really just from the community right around. Cause I, I doubt even those of you, maybe, maybe Kakashla is well known in other parts of Mexico. Let me know if you've heard of Kakashla, but I don't think of it as one of the ruins that gets a lot of attention. But as we got closer, there were vendors selling various kinds of foods, obviously, and snacks, as well as supplies like hats and, and other um, artisanal items. And so we enjoyed seeing those um, vendors. One important thing for if you're, especially if you're not com comfortable with maybe touring around Mexico, that when you get to these places, sometimes you'll have various people trying to grab your attention and have you park in their parking lot or buy their items. So I've realized it's really important for me to just relax, enjoy the drive, and just try to have a clear mind so that we can figure out where we want to park and where we're headed and not be deterred on detours by various vendors or people trying to sell even parking spaces to us. And so we did end up being able to, we followed just our GPS on Google Maps, we drove all the way till we saw a sign that said no more vehicles past this point and we were able to park right there on the side of the road um, and that is, it was very close and not a far walk. 
We loved getting to tour around. The area that we went to was not large, but it was plenty big for our kiddos. Um, where there was everything was written in Spanish and English on all the plaques, so we're able to enjoy reading about the history. There is still a lot of, of um, ruins that have not been uncovered, and so it excites me to see the future of what Kakashla will look like as they continue to um, unearth some of the, the the ruins that are currently under big piles of dirt with trees growing on them. And after we did a short tour, it didn't take very long for us personally, we didn't take a tour. We walked around, toured around, reading the signs. and there were beautiful spots with tree shade and lots and lots of families enjoying their Sunday and so did we and we had a little picnic and then we we're able to pack up and head home and I would I really highly recommend if you live in this area or if you come to Puebla it's not or Tlaxcala it's not an area that is um, has a lot of attention uh, called call doesn't call a lot of attention I don't think but we definitely would recommend checking out Kakashla. And when we were there, we talked to one family that they are from Puebla and they were saying, well, we were, Justin was explaining that we really had no idea that these ruins would be so large. And she said, really in this area, if there are ruins, most of them are significant and, and large and, and worth a trip. And so that's our goals. We're gonna try to hit up more of the ruins nearby us and really enjoy the history of right here in Puebla and for this adventure, Tlaxcala, Mexico. Please like, subscribe, share. It really helps me out. And I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.